What is going on, you guys? It is your boy MC here. I am here, episode seven of Jujutsu Kaisen, aka episode two of Shibuya Incident. Now, I just got off Classroom of the Elites season one finale, so I'm a little bit still out of breath, but I am still full of energy because I cannot wait to get back into this show. Last week's episode was a really good catch up and a build up, but man, that ending though, I cannot wait to see Megamara versus Mahito going into this, and maybe a little bit of Gato. Gato's maybe gonna get into this. Maybe any of the other sorcerers are gonna get into this i don't really know but man they ended off on a really really good note we found out that megamaro was the quote-unquote mole and was giving gato and mojito the intel from the kyoto i think the kyoto sports festival all like in the reason why they showed up so that was interesting wasn't expecting that but we knew that it was for a gain with megamaro's character because with him giving them intel would force mojito to use his idol transfiguration on megamaro which is going to give him his body back but we know that no matter what between these two sides there was going to be something going down and so far it looks very good visually the animation is going to probably hopefully get better i assume so because i've seen that trailer and i know the animation is going to be maybe the best that this season has done so far i'm just saying even though we are not even got there yet but i expect it to be amazing and so far with megamara pulling out a damn mech that he's been working on for probably what 16 17 years of cursed energy that he has stored up in that thing I cannot wait. That's really much it. That That's the intro. And we are getting straight into this episode. And I cannot wait. So I am just going to shut up. Let's get into it. Guys, if you are new to the channel, you guys like my ass, like, subscribe, comment down below. And if you guys want to be notified on when we release those videos, definitely smash that notification bell. But with that being said, let's get right into the episode. Oh my God. <laughs> we're, we're five seconds in. We're five seconds in. The animation is looking incredible. That was a cool shot. My God, Megamaro. Oh, God. Who else is getting some Gundam vibes? Is it just me? That's, uh, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Beautiful cinematography. Kokichi, man. Oh, my God. We have a veil, too, so we can go the hell off. Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> that was beautiful! But I know damn well Mega I know damn well Mojito got out of the way. Or maybe even stepped out of the way. Okay. <laughs> got him a little bit. <laughs> No matter what, he loves this. No matter what. But yeah, no matter what, so he... So with everything that he's going to be able to try to do, he better know how much power he's going to be able to use against Mahito. Because Mahito is that dude that's just going to keep going. God, his athleticism is crazy. We've seen that when he took on freaking Nanami and obviously Yuji. Two years. Dude. There he is. Uh-oh. What is that? Damn. Okay. That's why you gotta make work with everything you got. Technique loaded. He's using wings now. Is this like a sh sh yeah, it's some sort of sharpshooter? Maybe. Got him! But Whoa, shit! Is this gonna bring him apart from the inside? Oh, damn it! He only kicked the shit out of him! Oh, damn! Holy shit! Oh, my. 
my god! Soul was destroyed. He's not wasting any time. There he goes. That's gonna be his advantage using any type of bird tactics that. Oh, he turned into a whole damn hawk! <laughs> the head and everything, too! To make it look like he regenerated, yeah. Dude, this animation's beautiful, man. The colors. It's so interesting and so different from what we've seen so far with JJK. Holy. Turning into a rat form. My god. Using multiple different ones. This shit's beautiful, man. I, I can't really say more about it. Like, I can't say much about this that I've already said so far and that I can. But my god. <laughs> Is he gonna punch him out of the sky? Nope. Roll on. Rolls on, walking up, the arm throwing him. Oh shit. Oh, there go the cords. There go the wires. Oh shit. Maybe not. Oh! <laughs> Both of them giving it their all, man. They really are, but then again, Mega Mar is dealing with some damage a little bit. Loading up with everything that he has. Holy do. Oh, Mojito Domain Expansion! Oh, shit! We've seen this once before! Oh, I- oh my god. He was gonna maybe try to pray that that maybe didn't happen. Oh my god. So one of my favorite looking domain expansions, man. Ever since that happened. Oh shit, got him trapped. God, poor Kokichi. Yeah. He's moving. And he's like, huh? What? God damn! He's like, huh? New shadow style. The hell? Uh. Yeah, you've seen it all. Damn! He is destroying Mojito, man. Broke the freaking expansion. It's really good that he was able to get out of there. So now this fight can continue. He wants Gato to get into this shit! Get your ass down here to get this ass whooping! He still has a lot of power left. What will Gato do in here? Oh, gate so off in the fight. This is crazy ass animation, man. What did he throw? Fucking drew his head. And he got into that bitch. Here come the droids. Maybe not. Yep, here he comes. This this episode has been in a hundred ever since the damn thing started. <laughs> Holy shit, Mega Mario getting making his way through everything. Dude, this shit is beautiful. I would expect this shit from Bones or Nakamura or anything that I've seen in probably Mob Psycho with how colorful this shit is. This is the most colorful shit I've seen in this show ever. 
Holy shit. Still with enough curse energy. <sighs> Breaking through it. Destroyed. What will happen? Oh, goddamn. I love you, Mappa. I do. Oh, that's what I had a feeling with. What happened? Is he dead? I assume he is. Yeah, he has to be dead. God damn. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Mekamaru. Is this Shibuya? Yeah. You just hear how silent it is. This is the perfect personification for Calm Before the Storm. This city is about to get screwed up. Oh my god. This is gonna be crazy, man. This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be a Halloween massacre. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There goes the veil. God. Oh, shit! <laughs> Ran straight into the damn thing. <laughs> Ran straight into the fucking veil. Oh god. Oh god! Look at the back! Oh lord! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh my god. I don't even want to know what happened to those people. I don't even want to know. This is the setup, man. Team Nanami, okay. Okay. Who's on Team Gojo? Is it like Mei, Gojo? Nobra. Is it Maki too? I think I see Maki. <laughs> okay. Team Zenin. Okay, never mind. Team Zenin. Okay. <laughs> Beat them up. No, we're not more standby people. <laughs> Who's on this team? Is Panda. I don't know who the other dude is from afar. Could be just another sorcerer. Okay, okay, okay. Kasakabe. Ku Kusakabe, sorry. Nanami, Mei Mei. Okay, all right then. Team Kusakabe. Like Shinra Kusakabe. This definitely does feel like a war. It definitely does with different teams going into here because this is so big. I could definitely see it. It was pretty peaceful. <laughs> Who is this Gojo? Huh. Use your brain a little, you dumb fucks. 
Oh, is that who I think? Yes, sir. Kill Joe is in the building. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. Gojo arrives. All right. I like the setup for this, and we'll talk about the first thing, and then we will talk about the second half of it. So. We'll get into it. Let's first talk about the first half of this episode being Mahito versus Kogachi, aka Megamaru. My God animation. Now, I know that the director has directed so many interesting things, and I like, in even when I say interesting, I mean when I'm talking about Ranking of Kings, where some of the shots just looked visually beautiful, and even with JJK, he directed the hell out of those episodes, but my god, the direction and the animation, and to credit all the damn animators and everyone with MAPPA on how they did this freaking first half, it was the most different that I've ever seen this show in this episode. Whether, like, whether be a fight whether it be just animation in general this shit looked beautiful it would look like something that i probably would see coming from maybe my hero academia or even mob psycho let alone they're both animated and done by bones like it looked great even with some shots looking at it like i had no idea what the heck was going on but that's just how fluid the animation was moving like once all like the color beams were going towards mojito and mojito was forming into different things going through the forest and everything just trying to escape that my god what a sequence that was and just everything else everything with Megamaru, with how it looked as well as to mojito and what he was doing this animation was beautiful this fight was beautiful i'd say it's definitely one of the most beautiful things that i've seen so far in this season and we have just gotten started with this damn arc and it looks like next week's episode is going to be titled the shibuya incident now we are going to see what's going to happen with here i do like how they set it up so far going into the second half of this that they are all going to be in teams which makes sense because you have to and to end off the episode with gojo stepping inside of the veil who knows who he might come in contact with i don't really know but there's gonna be so much that i am looking forward to in this arc it does feel a little bit like I i'm not saying rush but definitely it feels like maybe kuko like kuko yuko i almost forgot the damn name of the character that we were introduced to freaking last week i don't know if she might have a little bit more to go on in this like arc because there's just so much going on so we're just gonna have to see whatever else happens Solid ass episode, kick ass episode, kick ass first half, and what a way to set up the second half with how Shibuya Incident is gonna look. But thank you guys for watching my reaction. You guys were excited for the rest of JJK, and you guys like the channel, let's subscribe, comment down below. And as always, my name is Omzi, and I am out.